Hi, this is Mike, and today I want to talk about having a meeting room that you create in Zoom, but that goes to your personal meeting. Okay, so I'm here. Here's my personal profile. And so if you notice, my personal link is https cwm.zoom.us slash my slash Mike Bloom. Um, I customize that myself, and you can customize yours by clicking customize and changing it. Um, but let's say that I want a meeting that I create. I want that meeting to take place at this URL because I don't want to send people another link. So I'll go to meetings and I'll schedule a meeting. So here it is, my meeting. And so now I can either set it to be a recurring meeting or a one-time meeting, but if I want to send them to my personal meeting room, um, I can only make it a one-time meeting. And I can go to it as many times as I want. That doesn't matter. It's just not going to be a recurring meeting. So I'll click on personal meeting ID. And now I can do everything else I need on the meeting. Like when it is, I can change the, the time, whatever I need to do. Um, and I can set that as I want. And then I'll just hit save. And now you'll notice when I go back to meetings, I have that my meeting and I can edit that. And let's say I wanted it to be a recurring meeting. I could click on recurring meeting and I'll say every day, whatever I want and I'll hit save. So now it's a recurring meeting, but if you notice, there's a, a different meeting ID now. It didn't hold my own personal meeting ID. Um, and you'll see that invite link is different also. So let's say that I don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and edit the meeting. And now I'm going to edit all occurrences of this meeting. And I'm going to uncheck the recurring meeting box. And now I can check the meeting ID again as my personal meeting ID and not that generated ID. And I'll hit save. And that's it. You'll notice if I go back to meetings, there's that my meeting and I can go ahead and jump right into it. And you'll notice the meeting ID is that 757-879-5463. Um, I know that's right because I put it in as my phone number. Um, that's something else that you could do if you wanted to, as a matter of fact. So if you go into profile, personal meeting ID, I can show that or I can edit it. And then I can actually change that personal meeting ID. And I changed mine to my cell phone number, just so that I could remember it. This has been Mike Bloom with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Thanks for watching.